Hey guys, I have to tell you I'm super excited uh, to finish my second day here in Karachi. I thought maybe today was work, the workshops were going to be cancelled or it wasn't going to go as planned because of the bombings that I mentioned to you guys last time. I have time. to say I kind of didn't know what to expect coming here because you hear all these crazy things in the media about what's happening in Pakistan and like it's the most dangerous country in the world. Um, you know. In some ways, yeah, Karachi hasn't felt like the safest place to be. For me, it is because of where I am. I mean, it's very secure here um, in, in this place where I'm staying. But at the same time, it was really nice as we were traveling throughout the city to see various groups coming out and protesting against the bombings that happened. You know, people really care about others here, and that's evident. And just meeting the amazing people that I met today during my workshops, um, it was really inspirational to me. The first session we had today was at MAD, which is Music, Art and Dance. It's a organization that teaches classes to adults and also inner city kids and kids that are maybe not so privileged come out there and they learn music and acting. The session there was more with working actors. So some of them are already like in film and TV. Um, a lot of them are doing theater. The MAD group, which is uh, Nida Bhatt and her husband as well who's a wonderful musician um, they've been doing a lot of English language plays and musicals here they did an original play musical called Karachi and uh, it just sounds so amazing and they were so I was so inspired by everyone I met today and it was more like having a session with colleagues and like me being the big bad teacher and teaching them something so that was really great for me as an artist um, just to be able to be around that kind of energy and I was really inspired by these people because regardless of everything that's going on in the city today, you know, more than half the city is shut down and people would think maybe it's not safe to go out, but these people still came out to the workshops and, you know, gave it their all. The session was at IVS, uh, which is Indus Valley School. It's this beautiful, beautiful building, beautiful location. Um, and even though we were expecting around 50 to 70 students to show up, but because of everything that's going on in the city, there were only five, but they had heart and they gave it their all. And it was a wonderful session with them as well. Check out this poster the kids at IPS made for me. I love it. I'm the dirty packy behind the lingerie. That is the title of my play. And I love that they made that. I've never, I didn't expect to see it because honestly, I didn't know what people here in Pakistan would make of the title. Um, you know, I people get freaked out by it even in America or Europe because the title means very different things in various different cities. I have to tell you though, it's really, what's really interesting to me as an outsider coming here is um, the conspiracy theories that go on. So I was talking to a local person, um, this older uncle, about the bombings and I was like, wow, you know, it's crazy what's happening, who do you think is behind that? Because no news has really come out about, about who caused the bombings. And the uncle had all these theories, he's like, you know, it is the international forces. It is in the best interest of country X and country Y. You know, he threw America in there. Um, even though he knows I'm from America, he doesn't care. He's just like, he's like, you know, it is America. And then it was India. And uh, then it's like various other outside sources. He didn't really specify any more beyond that. Um, you know, one thing I would say, though, it's just all the conspiracy theories, so throw them aside for a little bit. But what I did find in talking to people who actually live in Karachi, well, people don't care if you're Sunni or Shia or what have you. Everybody, they just want to live in peace. You know, that was sort of what I walked away with. Right, well, one day down, uh, two more to go in Karachi. We'll see how it all pans out the next two days.